Okay, <clears throat> examples, same or not specimen, which means that it's defect free. Uh, there are no initial flaw here. We have some like values of free uh, amplitude and the number of cycles. And also importantly, we have this information as well. Stress amplitude, 250, 200, three times, 10, 100 times, 10, 100, 10 cell, 100 times, something like that. Okay, and then what this means that, oops, the specimen is expected to undergo the following load cycle each hour. Okay, this load cycle happens like each hour. This is kind of our basic information. This load block, loading blocks or cycles or happens like each hour. In this case, we have to find like how large, uh, how many hours or how many years or how many days the materials can sustain from fatigue, okay? So I will just, starting from the very beginning of the class, which is the Baskin Law for your like, like reviewing one more time, okay? So let's, from, let's starting from Baskin equation from this information, and then we will apply the miners rule to get the fatigue life. That's that's the end of the class, okay? So what's the Baskin law? One more time. Please do not look at my screen. Please do your do by yourself. Do not look at my screen. But at this time, let's let's do in the real case. Sigma A is equals to F prime and let's do the real case, like two times NFB. I told you, like some some like textbook is like 1NF and 2NF, but let's do this at this time, okay? This is more accurate versions, 2NF times B, okay? Start, you can do it, take log. Then log failure stress plus B times log 2NF. There's one point and two points. One more time, one more time. Let's go, let's go. And then B times, do not look at my screen. You guys can do it by yourself. A2, <clears throat> F is same. Oh, my letter's gonna be weird now, but it's okay. We know what we are doing. And then we subtract two equations. There are two unknowns. There are two equations. We can solve it, no matter what the points, the materials property are same. So let's say the, let's go skip the, the line. So the log A1 minus log A2 over log 2NF1 minus log 2 and F2. So as you can see here, no matter what like NF is or two times of NF, it doesn't make any differences. But this one is more accurate. And then as I mentioned, the Baskin equation will be given. So no worries. So B, what what points, would which point do I have to use? Maybe I should choose this one and this one or this one and this one, but let me choose this one and this one. Okay, let's do like more extreme case. Not the extreme, but like the end of the point. So 379 minus 172. And its uh, cycles is log, log, two times, this is important, two times of 8,000 minus log, two times <clears throat> one, one, six, nine, thousand. Okay, and when you calculate this number is 0 0.159, little different. As you know, like these numbers and the previous examples are same. So a little, 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 except, little different. But anyway, it doesn't matter. What is the material property? Uh, we can 
insert any values. So let's let's insert the first one, 379 mega pascals into the Baskin equations is F prime times two times of 8,000 powered one, five, nine, negative. And then you do the calculate using a calculator and then you can get F prime is equals to one, seven, six, six. And this number is too big. So sometimes when you calculate like at once or sometimes like some people calculate like this one, this one, this one, this one, and get this one, or maybe sometimes just like calculate at once, that numbers could be a little different, but no worries, like it's gonna be pretty same. Like if your answer is like 10 years and you, my, the real answer is 9.7 years, it's gonna be fine. Or eight years, it's gonna be fine. However, like if you're like, final answer is gonna be 20 years or 30 years or even like 100 years, it's gonna be wrong, right? Okay, so now you have this. So now we can finish your Baskin equations because we got the exponent, we got the failure stress. Let's see, so the Baskin equation is sigma A, let's go here, sigma A is equals to 1766 times two times cycles of failures, power zero minus 0 0.159. That's the Baskin. That we got. But now we have to find how many, the fatigue life of this situations using a minor rule. And let's copy paste this one. Sorry about that. I, I should have done, not do this, but I should have do this, okay? And then what we're gonna do is, when you think about the minor's rule, what's the minor's rule? It's this, the fracture, cumulative damage. So we know the we know the Baskin's law from the previous conditions, all right? And then we have to get each failure of cycles, first case, second case, third case, and here is fourth case, right? We have the number of cycles here, number of cycles block, but we have to know we get the each failure of cycles in each case when the amplitude is 250, 200, 100, or 100 in compression and tension. So let's calculate this. What I'm saying is that we have to calculate cycles to failure, which means NF, which is NF, and we have to calculate the damage, which is the fractions, right? So we call it damage in each case, so di, and this is a fraction, so I use the small letter d, which is ni over nfi, or nfi, whatever. Then I should have write i, something like this. Okay, so we will make the new chart. Okay, once again, you have this table, then you can get your Baskin equation. If you have this table, then you have to draw another table and get this information to find to use the minor's rule. Okay, so it's super easy. What's the what's the cycles of here? Okay, how we can how we can get this number? Here, based on this. Uh, retrieve the Baskin equations, two times NF is equals to amplitude of the stress over 1766 times one, uh, not times power, but one over minus 0 0.159. So therefore your cycles to failure is equals to one over two times amplitude over 1766. So if you have your Excel spreadsheet or whatever calculator, you can just use this equations to fill here, right? Because you know each amplitude. So you can insert here and you can get this.
you can insert this and you can get that. You can insert this, you can get this, you can get that, that. Here is kind of like tricky, but doesn't matter. You are dealing with the magnitude. So compression or tension, it doesn't matter, okay? So when you calculate based on this equation, then what you got here is 1.0937E5. As much as accurate, I think like four to five digits are more than enough because it is like 10 to five, it's a pretty big number. So if you're just using like, like one, 1.0 or 4.4, then eventually the, the number is gonna be way different. So make sure that you will use like at least four to five digits, at least. And this is a matter of like time and math, so you can do it by yourself. So you guys calculate based on your each stress amplitude and you guys can get the cycles to failure, then you can calculate the damage using Excel spreadsheet or whatever, which is this one divided by this, all right? Okay, let's get this one then. One, nine, if you divide it one over 1.0937 tends to five, which means that 9.14 E minus six. 2.25 e minus 6. Please do it by yourself later, okay? Okay, this is the damage. And what's the minus rule? It's going to be cumulated. So total damage is going to be D is the sigma sum of the R of all of your DI. And if you sum everything here, then it's gonna be same as 1.145 e to minus five. Okay. So blocks to failure. We are loading some kind of blocks, right? Loading blocks. The this blocks of failure is, uh, can be written as BF. This one can be written with one over D, which is the total damage. Then it's gonna be one over 1.145 E5, then it's gonna be 8.74 times E10 to the four blocks. And as I said, each block is representing an hour. So this is gonna be same with 8.74 E4 hours. So it's fatigue life is 8.74 10 to the fourth hours. And as you know, 365 days in one year and 24 hours in one day. So it's gonna be deleted, right? So how many how many hours in a year? If you multiply this 87, 60 hours per year, which means that this 8.74 10 to 4 hours is approximately 9.97 years, almost 10 years. So this is the answer. So what I want to say here is that my applications of the minor rule, you got you guys can find the Baskin equation first, and then you have to find the damage, the fractions of damage. And then the damage can be calculated by the your cycles divided by your cycles to failure, which is determined by your each stress amplitude. And then you sum every damage. And if you like flip it, like one over D is equals to the blocks to failure. And each block is like same as ours. So you can calculate how many years can this device or materials can resist to the fatigue. Okay, very nice, very nice. And let's go to the final example, which will include all of the information, not only Baskin, uh, not only Miner's rule, even including the Goodman relationship. So this is the very, very important one. So yeah, there's no differences in uh, tensile and compressions because the cyclic loadings like in here is determined by the NF, uh, the cycles to failure is just determined by the amplitude. 
So it's kind of like like a trick trap. I mean, it's not big differences. Uh, each cycles to failure is determined by your Baskin's law. And then in case of the Baskin's law, the more important thing is your amplitude, the magnitude of the value. So compression and tensile doesn't make any differences. Uh, 